Welcome to this video on APA in Discussion Posts and Research Papers by the Cannon Memorial Library for the Business Department. In this video, you will see an example of a scholarly journal citation, a book citation, and a web page citation. These three examples should get you through most any research paper or discussion post. There are two types of citations in APA. The first is the reference citation, which appears at the end of your paper, on a separate piece of paper, or at the bottom of your discussion post. In this example, we have a scholarly journal article. Let me walk you through the different pieces. First, we have the author's last name, comma, author's first initials. We only use first initials in APA to get rid of gender bias. Next comes the year in parentheses with a period at the end. We do not put the day or the month when citing a scholarly journal article. The title of the article is in sentence case. What this means is that the first word starts with a capital letter and the rest of the words are lowercase unless they are a proper noun. Notice that this is in regular formatted text, nothing special, period at the end of the title. The next piece is the title of the journal. This has an entirely different format. Notice that the title of the journal is in italics and all the big words start with a capital letter. At the end of the journal title, we have a comma. Next is the volume number, 51. This is in italics. Next is the issue number, number four. This is in parentheses, right next to 51. There's a comma after the parentheses. Next is the page number range. You must have a range. So our first page is 321. The last page of this article is 345. And we put a period after the page number range. Next, we have the DOI number in the form of a URL. So it's https colon slash slash doi.org. There should not be anything else besides doi.org between those two slashes. After the slash, after org, then you will have the DOI number. Notice there is no punctuation ever after a URL or DOI number. That's the first type of reference citation. The second type of citation is an in-text citation. This is used inside your paper to indicate that you are giving credit to the author where you got the information, idea, or direct quote. In this case, we have Smith, inside parentheses, comma, 2022 as the year of publication and page, which is P period, 338 close the parentheses. In many cases, the period to end the sentence will go outside the parentheses after the page number. Let's take another look at the references citation. This long citation in green is the same one that we just looked at. Some reminders for you. The references page should be the last page of your research paper. If you are citing within your discussion post, this will be at the end or bottom of your post. The references page lists all the sources you cited in your paper or discussion post. The references citation lists all the details of the article, book, or website. So you'll need the author, date, article title, journal or website title, volume or issue number, page number range, and DOI. Taking another look at the in-text citation with Smith, 2022, page 338, remember that in-text citations are used in your writing to indicate that you are using an idea or a quote from a source. In this case, it's a scholarly journal article. 
but whether it comes from a book or a website, you still must have an in-text citation. You just may not have a page number. Using in-text citations helps prevent plagiarism. You are using another person's ideas or wording, but you are giving them credit for the idea. Anytime that you use an in-text citation, make sure that you also include the references citation at the end of your discussion post or research paper. Connecting reference and in-text citations is important. Remember, first of all, if a source is in your reference list, there must be at least one in-text citation for this source in your paper or discussion post. If a source has an in-text citation in your paper or discussion post, then there must be a references citation for this source at the end of your paper or discussion post. And if there is no in-text citation for a source, Decide if you need to add the in-text citation inside your paper or discussion post, or do you need to remove the source from your reference list? The real question to ask here is, did you actually use the source in your paper or reference? The real question here is, did you actually use the source in your paper or discussion post? If not, get rid of it. Where do we find reference information when we have an article? This chart gives us an example of where we can find different types of reference information for a journal article. Notice at the top in blue we have the date when this work was published. On the left you can see the title, what is the work called, and this is the title of the article. In the middle in purple we have the author, who is responsible for this work. And then in the right, we have the source in green. Where can we retrieve this work? Below is the reference list entry, color coded to show you the order that these different pieces of information belong in. Be careful to do this with every journal article that you cite. And notice at the bottom of my PowerPoint screen, I also have an in-text citation with my author being the American Psychological Association. The year of publication for the manual is 2020 and this diagram appears on page 283. Now here's a chance to try it on your own. This is an example of a journal article. I have color coded the different pieces of information. Now you try to make a journal citation yourself. Feel free to pause the video and make your attempt. Here is the correct citation color coordinated for your Here is the correct citation color coordinated for your convenience. The authors are in green. The first author's last name, stock, comma, R period, comma. Second author's last name, Linum, comma, S period, comma. The ampersand symbol, which stands for the word and, must appear before the last author. The author's last name, comma, first initial, and then period to indicate that we are done with our authors. Next, in pink, we have the year. For scholarly journals, you only give the year. Do not give the day or the month. We have 2018 as our year of publication. It's inside parentheses, and then a period goes at the end of the parentheses to indicate that we are done with the date. In blue, we have the title of the article. Notice that this is in sentence case. So the first word starts with a capital letter and is lowercase from there. However, there is an exception. At the end of success, you see there's a colon. Whenever there is punctuation inside a article title, then the next letter is capitalized. So the is capitalized. Role of mental toughness in predicting and creating success is all in lowercase period to indicate we are done with the article title. The title of the journal, however, has completely different formatting. Higher Education Pedagogies is the name of the journal. It is all in italics and every big word starts with a capital letter. 
at the end of the journal title, just put a comma, not a period. The three in orange is the volume number and is italicized. The one in orange is the issue number and it's in parentheses, comma after the parentheses. Then in purple, we have the page number range. This is the starting page number of the article through the end last number, last page number of the article, period after the page number range. Next in brown is the DOI number put in the form of a URL. This is new for APA 7th edition. This URL starts with https colon slash slash doi.org. Very important that there is nothing else except doi.org between those slashes. Then after the slash, after org, we have the DOI number, including any periods, slashes, or other punctuation that it might include. However, notice there is no period after the DOI number or a URL. Here is an example from a discussion post. Note that there is no information in the publication manual about how to do a discussion post. This is purely based on what we have decided here at St. Leo University. When you are creating a discussion post, feel free to write, but you must use in-text citations for your works, whether they are journal articles, books, or websites. In this example, we actually have a article that has come out of a book and we have in this example we have a book the information has come from a book written by Brickley Smith and Zimmerman notice the ampersand symbol before Zimmerman to indicate that Zimmerman is the last author then we have the year of publication 2016 and the parentheses Put the ending period. There is no page number because this person has made a generalization or has perfectly paraphrased this so as to not create plagiarism. Notice that, notice that this student has not put a page number because it is not a direct quote. The second citation is the same with the three authors, comma, year of publication, and the parentheses, period, at the end. At the end of your discussion post, it is very important for you to put the references. Do keep in mind that the discussion post formatting can be very limited. You may not be able to do italics, but you can do the capitalization correct and your punctuation correct. Please do the very best that you can. So put references colon, and then list your sources alphabetical by the author's last name. In this case, we have our book first, Brickley Smith and Zimmerman. Notice that it has the publication year. The title of a book is in italics, but lowercase. And we have the sixth edition. It's very important that you put the edition that you are using. The publisher is McGraw-Hill, and we put a period after the publisher. There is no DOI and no URL. The next one is from a website. It's an article from a business website. So we have the author. In this case, there's a mistake. So will should just be w period always remember that in apa we use the first initial only then we would have a period after will then 2018 in parentheses period after the parentheses title of a website again we have to be different so the title of the web article is in italics with all the big words capitalized. That is just for a website article. Then the name of the website itself is Investopedia. Notice that it does not have any special formatting. 
It is capitalized and ends with a period. Then we have the URL that will take your professor right to that article. Please make sure that that URL is correct and will actually work and take your professor to the article. There's nothing more irritating than for a professor to try to look at your article and find that the URL is incorrect. Also notice that there is no punctuation after a URL. All right, now you will not be putting a little yellow box around your references. I just put it there so that you could more clearly see the references and what we were focusing on. I hope that's been helpful. Here is my references page for this video. I've used the American Psychological Association's publication manual of the American publication. <laughs> Here is my references page for this video. Notice that I've used the publication manual of the American Psychological Association, 7th edition. It does have a DOI, no punctuation after that DOI, and the author is the American Psychological Association. The year is 2020. Keep in mind that this is a book citation, not a journal article citation, and therefore pay careful attention to the formatting of the citation. I hope this video has been helpful and certainly more clear about the rules for using in-text citations and references citations within discussion posts in class. Good luck with your discussion posts and remember that the librarians here at the Cannon Memorial Library are always available to help you with APA formatting.